Train Tools is an add-on for Spline Architect. It includes three main features. Terrain Deformation, Terrain Painting and Object Instantiation. Terrain Tools can easily create mountains, paths, rivers, roads and more all by using splines. Let me show you how to create an environment. We start by pressing the Create Spline button. Now we can create a new spline. Let's press the Deform Terrain button in the Terrain sub-menu. As you can see, this is not a mountain. But we get an indication of how long and wide the mountain will be. And currently it's not wide enough. Let's increase the blend width. This looks better. We will also change the easing. To make it look like a mountain, we need to add a noise layer. Press the noise sub-menu button and create a layer. It can be a good thing to play around with all these noise effects. You can have up to 16 layers at the same time, so you can create several noise layers and use them on top of each other to create very unique deformations. As you can see, the scale of the noise is not quite right. Increase the noise scale. This looks a lot better. Now we do the same process again and create more mountains. Let's create a road for vehicles. We start by creating another spline. And when we have adjusted it correctly, we press the Deform Terrain button and see how it looks. Let's make the road wider. We can't have the spline deforming the gap between the two mountains. Let's set the range value. Add another one to deform the other side of the gap. Now the terrain deformation part is completed. Let's add the road to the spline. We do this by parenting the road to the spline and it will start to follow and also be deformed. If you have the object cloning add-on, you can clone the road and it will create copies of itself to the end of the spline. If you don't have the add-on, you can just duplicate the road directly on the spline. Now we will start to add more details to our road. Let's add some road barriers. And we do as we did before with the road. Just add the road barrier as a parent to the spline and it will follow and be deformed after the spline.
Great, now we are done with that. Now we will start to paint the mountains. First we select all the mountain splines in the hierarchy window. After that we create a paint layer. In the layer option you will have all textures assigned as a layer palette for the terrain. Let's choose the cliff texture and change the width and blend width. Let's paint the mountains. As you see, this is not what we want. But we get an indication of what area the paint will be added. Let's undo that. Now we adjust the slope setting. This looks a lot better. Now we add another paint layer. This layer will be used for creating an outline around the cliff texture. Set the layer option to grass and line A. Use the same width and blend width as the last layer. And we only use a small part of the slope. Perfect. Now to the last part, trees. We start by creating an instantiation layer. Here we can add one or more objects that we want to instantiate. We have a lot of options here, but we only need to change a few of them. Let's add some trees to the instance fields. Spacing. The higher the spacing value, the greater the distance between the trees. Width. The spawn width for the trees originates from the spline. Offset Y. We'll offset the trees in the Y axle. Scale. Trees will have a random scale between these two inputs. Offset from splines. The trees can't be closer to another spline than this value. Slope. Trees can only be created within this slope value. There you have it! A complete environment created only by using splines. If you want to know how the vehicles are moving along the road, several examples are included in the Spline Architect example folder. Thank you for watching!